Hello, it's craft project time. It's my beaded chandelier. A little background. In the spring, I upgraded my bike to have an in-hub shifter in the rear wheel, which meant swapping out the rear wheel for a new custom one. So when I took the extra parts back, I had this spare bike wheel. I thought it would be really cool to make it into the base for a chandelier. I looked online and I saw a bunch of beaded chandeliers I really liked, and then I went to Etsy. I found a shop called Beads and Honey where I got these white wood beads in a bunch of different sizes and got to town. I literally sketched in beads until I found a design I was going to be happy with and then it just from there was lots of crafting. And you know me, I'm super detail oriented and so if I got one of those strands wrong I'd have to take it all out and do it again. So it's been a couple months of beading and hanging and testing out bulbs to see which ones fit and I'm so close to being done I'm hoping making this video about it would give me that final push to finish it up make it complete but it's already adding a lot to the dining area of my house and I like it a whole lot like that last 10% of projects is sometimes the hardest and takes the longest because it's so close to being done that like I don't mind the way it looks but I'd really like it to be finished so let's do it Becky you can do it Okay, so for this project, since it's a lot of different materials, I keep everything in this bin labeled current. That way when I'm not working on it, it's not cluttering up the house. And in here, I can show you, is just a bunch of <laughs> ramekins of beads. So that's how I keep organized. I have a ramekin for each size. One major inhibitor to working on a project like this is that every time I want to work on it I have to unwinch it from its high position on the ceiling and that requires like a lot of effort. So I have to really want to work on it to work on it but once it's down it's pretty easy to work on it. Okay, here's how it goes when I want to attach one of them to the chandelier. First you have to find the spot that needs the beads. I would say there's one right here. This is a gap here. And then I put, I tie the bottom one on. Okay, so from the, I made it, this is a center wire ring that these are all attached to, and then from there I go to the, the rim of the bike wheel. finished my chandelier this is my chandelier I left enough beads so that I have um, at least one strands worth of beads in case I have to repair it later the only thing I have to do is weave in these strands of threads up here I already tucked in all the ones near the bottom and so I think it's almost there woohoo been a long time coming. 